Sure. So this metaphor, we will describe it, the symbol. Tip of the spear is a reference to only so much of you actually being manifest within physical reality. It's really only 1% of your total energy that you are experiencing whilst you are in the body, most of you. For some of you, you can get it up to 2 or 3%, some on your planet up to 5 But keep in mind that even at 5%, the reality gets a little wiggly. You can manipulate it quite a bit on the energetic level and create rather quick and impactful results. The rest of you, the other 99 to 95% of you, is of course within spirit. It's within the non-physical realms, the many non-physical realms that make up the spirit realm. So that momentum, that power, that's the rest of the spear. That's the shaft of the spear that you would hold. Yeah. Keep in mind that these energies that are the spiritual energies, they are not just the shaft, but they are the arm. They are the hand that uses the spear to strike, but also can throw the spear through time and space. If the spear is blunt, yeah. it will not strike its target well. It will be in vain. Yes, no matter how wonderful of a spear it was, if it hits its target and it does not penetrate, well, that's it. Now, the enemy, the target can pick that spear up, break it in half, throw it to the wayside. Yes, this is, of course, a rather extreme example, but we are showing you this so you can ultimately understand the differences between the path of ease and comfort and the path of embodiment and self-mastery. Yes. Yes. For not only does the sharpened spear strike the target, but it passes through the target to the next one, you see. Mm. The magic spear, in that sense. So that's what you're being asked to transform yourself into. So a sharp spear is the equivalent to a sharp mind. So do not let your mind become soft. Do not let your senses become soft. Sharpen your mind. Sharpen your senses. Continue the gathering of knowledge. Continue the seeking of wisdom. Continue the meditations and exercises that keep the mind sharp, that allow for the mind to penetrate deeply into whatever subject it is observing. In that way, your mind will always grow. It is the mind level that is in between what you would consider to be the level of body and the level of spirit. So you can access the spirit realm through the palaces of the mind, but it cannot be accessed through lower mind. Only higher mind will reveal the gateways that lead you from the mental plane into the spirit plane. And it's not done with thinking. Keep in mind that when the mind is brought to a single point and is kept there, the mind becomes sharp and focused. And in that intensity of focus and openness, these two opposites blending together, a doorway is open that leads you into those higher planes of experience. And in that way, you'll tap into the momentum we mentioned that hurdles the spear through the air. When that door is opened, you will feel that energy more. You will know that energy more. And that energy will inspire you to move because that energy that hurdles you, it knows where it's hurdling you. It's throwing you with a certain technique, with a certain intention. It is your higher intention. The idea is, as you open that door more, more of your true nature, more of your path, more of your purpose is made obvious. The information travels through the portal you have made manifest within. In terms of generating firepower, what we would advise is the fire cycle of the technique that is described as the microcosmic orbit. This is where an energy orb is brought up your spine, down the front of your body. Circles are traced. The tongue tips at the roof of the mouth. The perineum is kept in mula bandha the entire time. Whilst you're doing this technique to emphasize the firepower, we would encourage doing solar versions of this exercise. So when the chi ball is at your perineum, see it as night. When the chi ball is at your sacrum, sunrise. And watch the sunrise as the energy ball rises up the spine at the crown, high noon. And at the third eye, 
the beginning of sunset mm. and then let the mm. sun set as it moves down the front of your body and keep looping the chi mm. ball like this. Do this as long as you like and think as you're doing this, I'm increasing my solar power. I am increasing my yang, mm. my masculine energy. And mm. drink your own Kool-Aid. Really believe you're doing that and you'll feel it happening. Because mm. you're just telling your body to focus upon a certain quality that already exists within you that you experience on a regular basis. You know what it's like to have energy. You know what it's like to be empowered. Most of you experience certain degrees of that throughout the day. In this exercise, you're focusing on that and you're saying, body, make more. And you're doing the exercise that is generative. You are tracing a wheel, a circle. And it is that rotation that generates power. That's how most of your power plants work. It's through rotation mm. technologies. You're doing the mm. same thing in your body. When you're done, mm. the energy in the navel center, within the core of the body, the dantian. And those things will ensure that you have more firepower. If we had to give you a third, we would suggest candle meditations, blended with the seated meditation we mentioned. Mm. That will do it as well. Let the eyes water and do not wipe them. Let them continue to perch. Mm.